Students, uh, in this video, I am going to take two examples on Lagrangian function. If you will see that in previous video, in previous lecture, we have taken uh, three examples. One of them is that where we are, we have a cone, and we have to find out the 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 find the least distance between the point this three four zero and the surface of the cone this we have already taken this example now we will take two more examples and then we will start karushkan tucker condition kkt condition fine so now the fourth example is this minimum of f 2x1 square plus x2 square plus 3x3 whole square plus 10x1 plus 8x2 plus 6x3 minus 100 subjected to the constraint x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to 20 this is a plane and x1, x2, x3 is greater than or equals to 0. Fine. So, Lagrangian function will be nothing but the objective function. So, this from here to here plus lambda times this constraint x1 plus x2 plus x3 minus 20. We will take the value in the left hand side. So, this is the from the constraint. This is from the objective function from here to here plus lambda times the constraint. This is our Lagrangian function. Now the necessary condition. So here L is a function of x1, x2, x3 and lambda. So del L by del x1 equal to 0, del L by del x2 is equal to 0, del L by del x3 equal to 0 and del L by del lambda is equal to 0. So after solving this, we get first equation, this second equation, third equation and fourth equation. Fine. So now we will try to find out lambda. How to find out this lambda? So from here, find x1 in terms of lambda from second equation find x2 in terms of lambda from third equation find x3 in terms of lambda and then finally substitute x1 x2 x3 from these three equations in the fourth equation and find out lambda so here is x1 in terms of lambda from first equation is this from second equation x2 is this in terms of lambda and from third x3 is this minus 6 plus lambda by 6 Substitute x1, x2, x3 in equation number 4, which is x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to 20. Substitute, so we get this is equal to 20. After simplification, lambda is minus 30. So what is the x star? x star is x1, x2, x3, which is 5, 11 and 4. Because minus 30, when we substitute it here, you will get x1. Minus 30 substituted here, we get x2. And minus 30 substituted here we get x3 which is 5 11 and 4 respectively so x star is basically 5 x1 x2 x3 and lambda is minus 30 now we will check the nature to check the nature we will we, ha we will have sufficient condition and that means we are having this bordered hessian matrix so del 2 l by del x1 2 del 2 l by del x1 del x2 del 2 l by del x1 x3 del l 2 l by del x1 del x so, what we have done L ko partially differentiate kiya with respect to x1, x2, x3, x lambda and then with respect to x1. So, with respect to x1, here, here, here. Again in the second row, with respect to x1, x2, x3, x lambda and then with respect to x2. Similarly, in the third row, with respect to x1, x2, x3, lambda and then with respect to x3. Then in the fourth one with respect to x1, x2, x3, x lambda and then with respect to lambda. So this is the border Hessian matrix which is divided into four parts. Fine. Now we will take generally this part and subtract epsilon amount from the diagonal elements. So here just take we are having already evaluated this del L by del x1 which is this. Again differentiate with respect to x1, so we get 4. So we get this, if you will see, so what we will get here, this matrix is 4, 0, 0 and 1. Here we have 0, 2, 0, 1. Then we are having 0, 0, 6, minus 6 and then 1 and then 1, 1, 1 and 0. This is the bordered Hessian matrix here. Fine. So this is at point x star. But 
for the definiteness generally we will subtract epsilon amount from the diagonal elements from here so 4 minus epsilon 2 minus epsilon 6 minus epsilon. we will not subtract epsilon amount from here we will only consider this part so here is this find out the put it this find out the determinant of this which is equal to 0 and this is evaluated at the point x star remember one thing fine then put it equal to 0 and then finally find out the value of epsilon so after simplification what we will get we will get this equation 3 epsilon square minus 24 epsilon plus 44 is equals to 0 after simplification this quadratic equation we will get epsilon 1 is equal to 12 plus 2 plus root 3 by 3 which is a positive value and epsilon 2 is 12 minus 2 minus 2 root 3 divided by 3 which is again a positive value so we can say that according to the criteria if you will see what was the criteria which we have taken earlier here if you will see you will remember for maximum epsilon all epsilon should be negative and for if epsilon are positive and some are negative then this is neither maxima nor minima and if all the epsilon values are for minima all the values should be should be positive so this is basically a minimum value fine so we will use this criteria and according to this criteria we are getting a minimum point so this point because here epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 both are positive so this point is basically a minima and the minimum value is obtained 281 objective function may x1 ki value 5 rakhenge x2 11 x3 4 so we get 281 fine now here in the last example we have two constraints in previous examples 1 to 4 चारों में एक एक कंस्टेंट था यहां पहली बार हम दो कंस्टेंट ले रहे हैं वी आर हैविंग टू कंस्टेंट्स प्रॉब्लम इज दिस मैक्सिमाइज दिस फंक्शन सब्जेक्टेड टू टू कंस्टेंट वन इज 4x1 3x2 16 एंड 3x1 5x2 15 x1 x2 इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल्स टू 0 सो व्हाट इज लैग्रांजियन लैग्रांजियन इज दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन प्लस नाउ लैम्डा 1 एंड मल्टीप्लाई बाय द फर्स्ट कंस्टेंट 4x1 plus 3x2 minus 16 plus lambda 2 and the second constraint 3x1 plus 5x2 minus 15. Fine. This is our Lagrangian function which is a function of x1, x2, lambda 1 and lambda 2. So now the necessary condition del L by del x1 equal to 0, del L by del x2 is equal to 0, del L by del lambda 1 equal to 0 and del L by del lambda 2 equal to 0. Simplify these four equations we get this, this, this and this. These are four equations fine so from first equation what is x1 in terms of lambda 1 and lambda 2 this 4 lambda 1 plus 3 lambda 2 plus 6 divided by 2 similarly from second equation x2 is equals to 3 lambda 1 plus 5 lambda 2 plus 8 divided by 2 now substitute this x1 and x2 in equation number 3 and 4 and get lambda 1 and lambda 2 fine so after from third equation we get this equation in terms of lambda 1 and lambda 2 and from fourth equation we get this lambda 1 and lambda 2 equation so we are having two equations in terms of lambda 1 and lambda 2 solve these two equations we get lambda 1 is equal to 2 1 2 divided by 1 2 1 and lambda 2 is minus 2 6 8 divided by 1 2 1 now substitute this lambda 1 and lambda 2 and here and here and then find x1 and x2 what we will get we will get x1 is equal to 35 by 11 and x2 is 12 by 11 so what is your x star x star is x1 x2 which is 35 by 11 and 12 by 11 and lambda 1 is 2 1 2 divided by 1 2 1 and lambda 2 is minus 2 6 8 divided by 1 2 1 this is the point now the sufficient condition so construct this border dashing matrix first differentiate L with respect to x1, x2, lambda1, lambda2 and then with respect to x1. So we get first row. Similarly second row means first partially differentiate L with respect to x1, x2, lambda1 and lambda2 and then with respect to x2. So we get second row. 
थर्ड रो मीन्स फर्स्ट पार्शली डिफ्रेंशिएट एल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वन एक्स टू लेमडा वन लेमडा टू एंड देन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू लेमडा वन एंड नाउ द लास्ट रो पार्शली डिफ्रेंशिएट एल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वन एक्स टू लेमडा वन एंड लेमडा टू एंड देन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू लेमडा टू एंड देन टेक दिस पार्ट केवल वही पार्ट लेंगे जिसमें एक्स इन्वॉल्व हैं बाकी नहीं जिसमें से हम डायगनली सब्टैक्ट करते हैं फाइन सो नाउ इन दिस बॉर्डर डैज इन मैट्रिक्स put x point x star lambda 1 is 2 1 2 divided 1 to 1 and lambda 2 is minus 2 x 6 8 divided by 1 to 1 substitute all these values and subtract epsilon amount from here at the diagonal elements so we get this matrix now put it this is zero this is the determinant this is the matrix fine so this is zero simplify this equation this determinant so what we will get we will get this equation After simplification, we will get two two zero minus thirty three is equal to zero. That means a contradiction. ये कभी हो ही नहीं सकता. Two two zero minus thirty three is equal to zero contradiction. And no polynomial in epsilon. Epsilon में कोई polynomial हमें नहीं मिलने वाला. So we will check the function by its Hessian matrix. तो यहाँ bordered Hessian matrix fail हो गया. तो हम क्या करेंगे? अगर bordered Hessian matrix fail हो जाता है, तो अब हम इसका Hessian matrix check करेंगे सिर्फ. Fine. So Hessian matrix is this: del 2l by del x1, 2; del 2l by del x1, del x2; del 2l by del x2, x1; and del 2l by del x2, 2, which is nothing but minus 2, 0, 0, minus 2. This is at point x star. This is at the point x star. It's this. So here minor up test lagaya. D1 is minus 2. Negative value D2 is the determinant of 2 by 2, which is 4. so this is negative this is positive so f is basically a concave function because kaisa aayega negative definite negative definite means function is concave and since function is of this form concave sorry function is of this form concave so point will be maxima this is x star so g1 and g2 are convex and equality because both are convex both are linear दोनों लीनियर है तो कॉन्वेक्स है फंक्शन हमारा कॉन्केव है दैट मीन्स एक्स स्टार इज अ मैक्सिमा एंड मैक्सिमम एफ इज सिक्सटीन पॉइंट फाइव फाइन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द लेग रैंज इन फंक्शन नाउ हियर वी हैव अ नोट पॉइंट द नेसेसरी कंडीशन ऑल्सो बिकम सफिशेंट फॉर अ मैक्सिमा और मिनिमा ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन इफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन इज कॉन्केव कॉन्वेक्स and the side constraints are equality ones fine agar objective function concave ya convex hoga kab convex kab hoga maxima ke liye convex concave hoga maxima ke liye convex hoga minima ke liye to hamari problem thi maxima and here function is concave so that's why necessary condition become sufficient kyunki hamare constraints bhi linear the equality ones that's why to ab hum next video mein we will discuss about the केकेटिक कंडीशंस सो क्लासिकल ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक्स फॉर एन एल पी विद इन इक्वालिटी अभी तक जितने एग्जाम्पल मैंने लिए सब इक्वालिटी जिनमें इक्वालिटी कंस्टेंट थे अब हमारे इन इक्वालिटी आएगी इन इक्वालिटी कंस्टेंट्स एंड फॉर दिस वी आर हैविंग के के टी कंडीशन तो क्लासिकल ऑप्टिमाइजेशन में दो टेक्निक्स हैं वन इज वैन वी आर हैविंग इक्वालिटी कंस्टेंट उसके लिए लेग्रांजन फंक्शन है और जब इन इक्वालिटी कंस्टेंट आएंगे तब हमारे पास के के टी कंडीशन है ठीक सो दिस इज द मीनिंग सो इसको हम डिस्कस करेंगे इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू